Hey guys, how's it going? It's the Crypto Analyst here, and I hope all of you guys are having a good morning, evening, wherever you guys are from. And JP Morgan just announced that they are going to be launching their own cryptocurrency. Now, this is extremely huge because they are the first major US bank to dip their toes into the water of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology. So with them entering into the field, what this does is it sets a standard for competitors and smaller banks to follow in their footsteps. Now, we're gonna be talking about what exactly their cryptocurrency is gonna be like, how their blockchain is gonna be working, uh, how exactly the use case of this JP Morgan coin is going to be used and whether or not this is a good or a bad thing because this can kind of be seen as a competitor to XRP but not necessarily a competitor to Bitcoin. And we're gonna be breaking this down, explaining everything that's happening in here. So if you guys are interested, go and stick around for the video. And do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it does help out the channel a lot. But that being said, let's go ahead and dive on into this because again, huge news coming out and this is just something that you wake up and you're really glad to see now i can promise you this article is probably not what you were expecting it was not what i was expecting when i read into it so let's go ahead and break it down so with them dipping their toes into here the coin itself is going to be named the jp morgan coin otherwise known as the jpm coin and it's actually going going to be a lot like a stable coin now this is understandable but kind of confusing and i was talking to some people in the discord who showed me this and i said the problems with this before i read the article is that they're probably going to have to make they're probably going to make this thing centralized and they're going to have people who are ill-equipped trying to act like they're equipped and know what they're doing now the problem here is immediately they're creating a centralized stable coin which is a giant red flag it is the opposite, I guess, of what cryptocurrency and blockchain technology was made to be, but it's understandable as to why they're doing it. So let me explain that a little bit. So since they are making a stable coin on the blockchain, it's understandable for them because they are a bank. They transfer, you know, billions tr or trillions of dollars, um, you know, on a monthly or on a daily to monthly basis. And so with this being done, it costs them an extremely large amount of money and takes days at a time for that money to transfer. Now, on the flip side of things, if they use the blockchain, what this allows them to do is to transfer this in seconds or even minutes, you know, at the most, if you're on a bad blockchain, usually this will take them seconds to transfer at like one one hundredth of a cost of what it would normally cost them if they were not on the blockchain. So they're creating a stable coin, in my opinion, to transfer this money from, you know, one area of the world to another for an extremely cheap price for an extremely fast transaction time now they're doing this on and this is where it starts getting kind of shady because they it doesn't mention if they're creating their own blockchain all it simply says is that this will be available on you know all standard blockchains as it said down here but like i don't really know what that means because are they creating their own blockchain are they working off the ethereum blockchain like amazon like what exactly are they working at here and that's kind of the some of the questions that i want to have answered when looking into this now it talks about how they are doing, you know, six trillion dollar transactions. And if this is done on the blockchain, obviously they are going to be saving a lot of money. And this is going to happen nearly instantly as compared to the modern way of that we do things now off of the blockchain. So again, it's understandable why they want to do this, but I think that they're still going about it the wrong way. The way and I'll have this linked in the comment in the description down below, but they are creating a centralized stable coin that just you know that in itself can have so many problems and the way that this works you know we'll read through this a little bit but essentially the way that this works is that you trade in x amount of dollars and then they directly give you x amount of jpm coins and then when you trade in those jpm coins back for money they will delete the coins they will burn them and then they will give you back the money so they have direct control over the circulating supply there is no set supply that can ever be in existence from the understanding of this so they can print it whenever they want they can take away it whenever they want they can burn it whenever they want they can distribute it however into whoever they want they have complete control over it so this is where things start really getting um, questionable because you start getting so far off the basis and off the standard of a cryptocurrency and you're essentially just creating a tokenized version of a fiat currency and they are trying and they're really trying to be some of the first people to do this now again they are trailing and straying so far from the design of the technology itself that it becomes dangerous and this is where the red flags start getting raised for me. It has no scalability because of the fact that it 
because they can print it and they can burn it whenever they want. So with this being done, the you know investing into the token itself is not a uh, an ideal solution because of the fact that the token can't stale, uh, scale because it's a stable coin. And if it's a stable coin, it relatively remains around the same price. And they said that the price of it is going to remain relevant to the U.S. dollar. So approximately every JPM coin is going to be worth around one dollar, much like Tether or USDT or or excuse me, not USDT. True USD, a lot of these other stable coins. So again, when I'm reading into this, I have a hard time. I'm asking myself why, right? You know, it, I I'm not sure. I guess it makes sense because they're going to be saving a lot of money and they're going to be having extremely fast transaction times. That makes sense. But again, I think that they're going about this the wrong way and they're using t the technology not to its fullest extent and not what it was designed and made to be. Now let's talk about some of the good implications of this because this can actually be a really good thing for cryptocurrency. Because if you guys know, if you guys go to an exchange or you trade cryptocurrency at all, then you guys know that Binance is the, or excuse me, Bitcoin is the direct uh, distributor between all altcoins. And with this coin being essentially another altcoin, it would be a uh, distribute, a, a distrib, <laughs> excuse me, uh, it would be a method of distribution via Bitcoin. And so when you want to buy Ethereum or you want to go on the Binance and you want to buy any other altcoin or any other exchange and you want to buy an altcoin, nine times out of 10, you have to purchase that altcoin with Bitcoin. And I think this is why it's actually a really good thing for Bitcoin because of the fact that if you want to invest in this or if you want to hold this, sure, you can get it directly for, uh, to them from the US dollar. But, but assuming that this is anywhere else that's outside their reach, which you know, in the least, I hope it's that because if they're the only way you can get this coin, it makes it even more centralized and it really hurts the use case for them having this, right? If you can't spend it anywhere, if you can't trade it, if you can't hold it, like if you can only get the coin via JP Morgan and handing them money, that's a big red flag. Again, very bad. And they would probably hopefully revise that with the team that they have, who's again, hopefully capable enough to understand that. But with this happening, if they are going to trade this and and have this anywhere else, it is going to have to have a Bitcoin pair at least on like half of the exchanges. So what this does is it not only helps the adoption and the growth of cryptocurrency and the blockchain technology, since it's going to be using both, it's going to help with that. It's going to help vital uh, clear the name of Bitcoin, I guess, so to say, to say that, hey, JP Morgan's using it. It's going to popular, popularize the uh, the idea of cryptocurrency in the name itself. So people actually know what cryptocurrencies are. Nine times out of 10, if I go out on the street and I tell people that I work with cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology, they have no idea what it is. You know, eight times out of 10, people don't even know what a Bitcoin is. So with this happening, it's great for the adoption of cryptocurrency. This cryptocurrency it's, it, itself, the JPM coin, is I don't is a very shady area. Not to necessarily say that it's bad and it's going to be used for all these bad purposes, but it is just so far strayed from the ideal core of what it was meant to be that they are getting into edgy waters. So I hope that makes sense. I'll have this linked in the comment section below, but. This really does raise a lot of questions about whether or not this is actually going to be a scalable solution and if other people are going to follow in their footsteps. So if JP Morgan's doing it, what's going to happen with Ripple, right? They don't have to use Ripple anymore because they're creating their own blockchain. They'll probably never be as fast or as cheap as Ripple, but they'll never have to pay Ripple the fees for doing these transaction times. It's basically saying we don't want to have to pay the 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 third party man to have to transfer our money because we want to be able to create our own blockchain in our own cryptocurrency and do it ourselves. Now, is that a smart idea? To be honest, I don't think it is. I think using <laughs> using other sources like XRP or another cryptocurrency is probably a better solution. But they are a centralized bank and they're not going to want to work with this and they're going to want to make something that is decentralized centralized because again, that's what the banks do, that's what fiat does. It makes sense, but it's just one of those things where you can't help but ask yourself the question why. So I want to know your guys' thoughts on this. What are your guys' thoughts on this? Is this a good thing? Is this a bad thing? You know, maybe it's good for adoption, but bad for cryptocurrency itself. I want to know your guys' thoughts in the comment section below because 
overall, I think this is, that this is going to be a great thing for cryptocurrency. I think it's going to help with adoption. I think it's going to help spread a good name. I think it's going to do a lot of good things for cryptocurrency. The JPM coin itself, though, not something I'm a fan of. Again, lots of work that needs to be done on this. There are changes that need to be made, in my opinion. That, However, that is just strictly my opinion. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you guys did, do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button as it does help out the channel a lot. But until next time, guys, I will see you in the next video.